Hi, this is Lindy Tate of Tater Buggin, showing you how to assemble and finish out another one of our wood block kits. This is our donkey. Started out with a color I didn't like, so I changed to Craft Smart Espresso. And you are welcome to finish yours out in whatever colors and whatever embellishments you want. This is just to show you the one way that I did it and how to assemble the kit. You want to get all the edges so it's finished out nicely. We have, okay, this is the body piece. I just painted the outside edges of this because it's really all that's going to show. It'll be glued in between the two um, leg pieces. Your kit's going to come with your back legs, your body, your front legs, and a head. You'll also find a large piece of raffia. No, it's not raffia, Lindy. It's actually jute twine. <laughs> You're going to have one, uh, you'll, it's a heftier piece of jute twine and then you're going to have three or four um, smaller pieces that we're going to make his little fuzzy mane out of. At the end I'll show you how we did that. Okay, just painting as fast as I can here. I left that little spot unpainted because it's going to be glued to the body. Just hitting it with the glue gun, make sure I get it good and dry before I put the pieces together. And you want to go around it and make sure that you've covered all the spots. There we go. I started to show you the black that I'm going to use for embellishment, but then I remembered I needed to finish out the back legs. See the little hole that's drilled in the back? You want to be sure that's going to face on the outside. That's where his tail's going to go. All right, we're just going to paint some little black hooves on. And again, this is just how I chose to finish out my kit. You can finish it out however you want to. If you bought the kit for your child or any youngster to put together, um, they can let their creativity go wild and just paint up their donkey however they want to. All right, going to put the hooves on these feet and then we'll be able to start the assembly. Dry it a little bit. Yeah, that's where I'm showing you to make sure that's on the outside. Okay, I've got a little um, Gorilla Glue. Do a line of Gorilla Glue and a line of hot glue. And line it up with the back legs for the body. And we're gonna do the same thing here with the front legs. Gorilla Glue. Sorry about the dog barking, hot glue. Yeah, we're real life over here. Okay, time to start on the head. You're gonna finish this out again however you want to. This is how I chose to paint my head and face on this kit. And we'd love for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we're going to upload all of our instructional videos for our kit and little extras here and there too. So be sure to hit the notification bell beside the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. And be sure to check us out, Tater Buggin, on Facebook and on Instagram. We post everything we make there. You're starting to see the detail I'm going to put on my donkey head. You want to get inside those ears too. Okay. 
anybody have a German Shepherd out there? <laughs> this one is showing out today. I just used folk art in camel for these colors here for his muzzle. Is it a muzzle, a snout, nose? And then the insides of his ears. touch up there okay this is where I'm going to get into the the detail of his face and this is just one example of how you might want to do it starting out with some white for the eyes And I'm going for kind of an Eeyore look here. Okay, and now we're going to come in with the black for his nose and nostrils. And a little sideways smile. Some eyebrows, a little eyeball detail there, and the pupils. There he comes. And then I add just a little dot of white in each pupil for reflection. Alright, gonna dry it so that I can attach it to the body. Again, a line of Gorilla Glue and a line of hot glue. You can see how he's coming together. And then I just turned it over and filled in on the back just the parts that are showing. And little touch ups. And look at your donkey. Isn't he so cute? Okay, there's the mane that was made of the thinner pieces of jute twine. I'm gonna show you at the end how I fuzzied it up real good. Add a little hot glue there on top of his head and down just the front on his forehead, just like a donkey. Isn't that cute? And then just mess with it till you like it. And there's, we're gonna add a little dot of hot glue inside that hole and insert the larger piece of jute that came in your kit. Poking it down in there, and now I'm adding another little dot of glue to lay that tail down. And then, you know, just make it fuzzy on the end, okay? And then I chose to cut a little piece of fabric. I didn't, I decided not to permanently attach it, but I did lay it across the back. Like he, you know, if he wanted to be a little burrow, you know how they have their little blanket. Okay, here's where I show you how to unravel your jute that came in your kit. Just started pulling it apart and pulling it apart more and more each piece till it just got really fuzzy. That's the next piece. You can see how I'm doing this here. It'll just keep unraveling as much as you want to. You could use yarn for this part as well. You could probably use a, um, a comb to really fuzzy it up if you wanted to. I just pulled it all apart. Then I wadded it all up together, you see here, and I kept working with it. Again, this is just one way. This is how I did the mane. You can do it however you want to. I'm sure you'll all come up with adorable ways to finish out your kit. And when you do, please post pictures to our group tater buggin sweet tater bugs and yeah come join that group and we have a great time there i'm just showing you here how you can use some dollar tree yarn to do the same thing and it has a different effect it comes out in little little curls there which would make for a really cute mane as well you could probably comb it out too there's how you can do that okay and then the larger piece of jute that 
came in your kit, just take the tip end of it and do the same thing. Just make it a little fuzzy. And that's all there is to it, y'all. Thank you so much for buying our kits. We appreciate you.